Before you begin to draw, you'll need some basic tools for drawing. Basically all you need is pencil, paper, and eraser. For paper, you can use typing paper, pencil, you can use a number two pencil that you might have in your home, and then of course any kind of eraser. Eventually you'll find that you want a few more tools, and I'm going to show you a variety of tools that I use when I'm drawing. I use a sketch pad, any drawing pad that you can get at any kind of art store. You can also just use typing paper. This is my sandpaper, and one of the ways I use the sandpaper is to sharpen the edge on my plastic eraser. See, I can sharpen both sides and get a very sharp edge so I can cut fine lines with the eraser. See how I can just make a small fine line when I sharpen the edge of it. Sometimes I use a emery board. I use that to sharpen pencils and I can also sharpen my eraser with it. Basically all you need is some sandpaper and it can be on an emery board or it can be a sheet of sandpaper. When you sand your pencils down that provides a flat edge on one side of the pencil and a sharp edge on the other side of the pencil. This tool here is one of my paint brushes that's very soft. It's a Langnickel. When I erase something on my paper, I use the brush to brush the fragments of the eraser away so I'm not smudging my paper with my finger, so I use the brush to brush it away. This is my pencil sharpener. Everyone will have a pencil sharpener in their house. If you don't have a pencil sharpener, just use a razor blade or a knife. This is my carpenter's pencil sharpener. You can buy this at a Home Depot or Lowe's and it sharpens my carpenter's pencil. Then I usually keep a razor blade close by so I can carve on my plastic erasers, carve on my rubber eraser, or I can sharpen any of my pencils with it. Again, you don't need all these tools. These are just tools that you'll find helpful eventually. This is willow charcoal. Buy this at a Walmart. Basically, it's just charcoal for drawing makes a nice black mark that you can smudge. You can darken a lot of area quickly with this willow charcoal. And you can use your finger to smudge with to create soft transition. Okay, this is an ebony colored pencil. It's about a number 2B. It's harder than the willow charcoal, but not as hard as a number 2 pencil. So I use that for smaller lines, smaller details. Here's a number two pencil. It's a little harder for making small details. This is a Sharpie felt tip pen. You'll find this useful sometimes when you're doing line drawings or contour drawings. Then this is my carpenter's pencil. I like this because I can have a nice wide edge, almost like a paintbrush. And then if I turn the pencil a bit, I'll have a nice sharp edge on the other side. It creates a chisel point on the pencil. Okay, here's my erasers. This is a plastic eraser made mostly of plastic and rubber and you can cut really fine sharp lines. This is my rubber eraser. It's for erasing larger areas. And this is my kneaded eraser. This is a cool little eraser because it's real soft and you can knead it like bread. You can make a very sharp point with it and then cut a very fine line on a drawing. Watch this. See I can make a very sharp line and what it's doing of course is removing the graphite. Again, you don't need all of these tools. Basically all you need is a pencil, a paper, an eraser. Use whatever you have in your home to start with but you'll find as time goes on and as you draw more you'll start gathering up a few more of these tools and these are some of the better tools that you can have in your drawing box. So thanks for watching and you're ready to start drawing.